Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. We often hear accounts of animals that have been rescued from near-death situations. A pit bull taken from the fighting ring, a stray cat picked up off the street. The stories warm our hearts and give us hope for a better tomorrow. This next piece is one such story. In the early morning hours of December 10th, 2005, a local fisherman set out for the Indian River Lagoon. Stretching over 150 miles along Florida's Atlantic coastline, the lagoon is famous for its abundance of redfish, snook, and tarpon. But on this day, the lone fisherman found something much different. Rescuers from the Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute were immediately called to the scene. We got a report of this animal at 9.30 this morning, and the injuries that she has are due to a crab pot, crab pot entanglement with a rope. So it basically was dragging through the corners of her mouth and also caused her some abrasions around her body from being wrapped up. Although the baby dolphin was alive, she was in grave condition after suffering major injuries to her tail. Rescuers worked quickly to get her out of the water and into an ambulance. It was a race against time. By nightfall, the baby dolphin arrived at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. They named her Winter, after the season in which she was found. Head trainer Abby Stone recalled the initial drama. It was a very sad sight to see. We were, um, you know, we, we were very scared for her. Amazingly, Winter made it through the first night. But in the light of the following days, reality set in. Winter's tail had turned into dead tissue, and it soon became apparent that she would lose it. We'd never seen this before, so it's hard to imagine, even though it's obvious that this tissue is dead, you just can't imagine flukes falling off and how an animal would possibly survive something like that. So when that became reality and we, we knew that that was the case, it, it was very much a very sad, sad moment here at the aquarium. But Winter pressed on, refusing to let her injuries overcome her she developed a brand new side-to-side -side swimming motion never before seen in dolphins. Gradually, she regained her strength. And with her life no longer in jeopardy, the question turned on how to maximize the quality of it. This is where Kevin Carroll entered the picture. As vice president of Hanger Prosthetics, he had been helping people with a range of debilitating injuries for years. But late in 2006, Carol and his team began formulating a groundbreaking idea to design a prosthetic dolphin tail for winter. Initially, when we saw winter, the dolphin were like, this is going to be difficult. This is not like anything we've done before. But we've always been successful, and we are going to be successful here. We looked at our little face, and then she put her lie up to us, and we're like, we got to do this. Carol's prosthetic team rose to the challenge, and soon, Winter became the first sea creature in history to use an artificial limb. Today, four years later, she is flourishing at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Not surprisingly, we find a large crowd gathered around Winter's tank, ready to watch her try on a brand new tail. The new prosthetic will be her 12th they constantly have to be changed to fit her growing body. Once it's securely fastened, well, there she goes. The prosthetic tail, while amazing to look at, actually serves as a therapy device. It allows her to swim like a normal dolphin would, strengthening different muscles and increasing her chances of a long and healthy life. As the swimming show comes to a close, it's time to say goodbye.
but not before one last trick. Oh, you're so smart, aren't you? Sorry. <laughs> She has that I can do this attitude, that very positive attitude, which is so important to anyone that has a challenge. And you know, in the case of Winter, she's an animal that definitely was not supposed to make it. And she has. And not only has she made it and she's here today, but she's done some amazing things. So regardless of what your challenges are, I mean you can always turn it around and make something really positive out of it. 